welcome back fuckers all right we are going to go through the next video on how to drop a bomb how to do these bad boys so quick look at the plane there we got 10 by mark 82 so 500 pound bombs 10 of them and we got some targets to go and blow up so we're going to quickly run through again i'm going to ask them quick select your weapon mode we're going to be doing ccip drops today M fuse is going to be on nose, E fuse is going to be on inst, and we are good to go. Alrighty, so we're going to go ahead and unpause and go through some symbology. So you want to make sure master arm is selected to arm, and you've also selected air to ground mode. Otherwise, you're not going to have much luck dropping any bombs anytime soon. So I've set up, if we can see it, there we go, that little practice airfield. We've got some targets just over there. That's what we're going to be flying for. So you can see here now, because we're in CCRP, it's given us a bomb fall line. And this little guy, that guy there, that is our bomb cross line. Okay, so as we go into a dive, this line is going to end up down the bottom and it'll make an X on the bottom of the bomb cross, or for the bomb cross. Where that X is on the ground, when you press the pickle button, that is in theory where your bomb shall go. This little guy here, that is our pull up cue. So if we are actually below that line, when we pickle we run the risk of crashing into the ground okay so we won't be able to pull up out of it so keep an eye on that don't do anything silly and crash yourself into the ground and no one wants to see that all right so now we've got our airfield down there i'll put some targets down there for us to hit we're going to pick one and we'll go for this guy here right on the end right on the road there that's our guy that's who we're after okay so when you are bombing you want to maintain wait till he gets to about 45 degrees, which is about there, from the cockpit, roll on in, reacquire the target, zoom in on him, and keep your eyes on the prize. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead, throttles are in idle, and we're lining up our bomb fall line with the target, and as you see, as we're about to descend down, I want to walk the bomb cross onto said target. Okay, so we're just lining ourselves up, when it gets on there, pickle and pull off out of the dive have a quick looky see how close we were yeah that's a shack baby one dead btr80 all right climb back up so it goes with that saying if there is ir threats so you've got uh, man pads stinger missiles ir missiles sam sites dumb bombs so your mark 80 series isn't going to be your go-to okay you want to be doing more standoff stuff so gbu 12s or the laser guided variety or the gps jdam variety uh, but because we just got ground targets that they can shoot at us obviously if we get low enough we'll be we'll get in range of the uh the small arms fire on the deck but because we're diving in from altitude we're pretty good okay we're pretty safe so also, another thing you want to do is mix up your angles that you come in on. So we're going to go for this guy right there. All right, we'll go for him next. So we're just going to keep walking around. We're just climbing up, getting our altitude back. All right, keep an eye on the area. So remember, he is there. So you've just got to be a bit smart with what you do. Think about where you're going to run in from. So again, I'm waiting until he's about 45 degrees from me. Okay, from center, 45-ish, which is about, about there. I'm going to go ahead and roll on in, chop the throttles so we can get ourselves all lined up. Ready to bomb. So, eyes on him there, roll out wings level, line up the, the bomb fall line with the target, and then as we increase our dive angle and get closer the bomb cross will continue down to the bottom there and then we're just going to walk the bomb cross onto target and hopefully get another shack pickle have a look have a look did we hit him that's a shack all right so always mix up your angles, don't always come in from the same side, and just pick your target early. Figure out where you're going to bomb them from, what angle. So if I wanted to say, let's let's go for this guy here, 
all right but i want to come in from that direction from c inland all right so i've got my target to know where he roughly is i'm going to just hook around getting my altitude back up get the burners and we're losing a bit of speed here hook around until you have got the correct angle you want to dive in on so i want to go in from c out towards the mountains this angle i've chosen all right so we'll line ourselves up here until we get the target in the rough area so that when we roll in we're facing the direction we want to face and then we'll repeat it again all right so remember our target is on the airfield so as soon as we get roughly into the area we want to roll it's about there let's roll on in zoom in Pick your target. Roll out wings level. A little bit early on that one. It's okay, we can fix. And then same deal. Walk the bomb cross onto target. Pickle. Weapon away. Pull up out of the out of the dive, into a climb. Bank over, have a look at your handiwork. Bang, shacks. Also a good idea. I wasn't doing it, but it's a good idea to just punch a couple of flares out when you're in a, a bombing run, just in case there is a, uh, a man pad down there you didn't see, because you can uh, honestly not even count the amount of times. I've died because I didn't flare doing bombing runs, so it's always a good idea. Just punch a couple of flares out just to uh, spoof any IR missiles coming in. Sweet, so that is pretty much it. Dumb bombing 101. Pick your target on the ground, line yourself up, wait till you are at the right angle to roll in. Roll in, get wings level early, and then just let the bomb cross walk up onto the target. As soon as the bomb cross is on the target, press the pickle button, pull out of the dive, climb up, pop flares, roll over, check out your handiwork. Just like that, boys. Hope you enjoyed. Catches on the next one.